Well, the UK's petrol crisis mismanagement is in danger of tipping the country into a double tip recession. UK Minister Prime Minister David Cameron called on the U, uh, called on the Unite Labour Union and employers to hold talks on preventing a strike by fuel truck drivers, but has still placed the army on standby should such action take place. The strike would immediately skyrocket fuel prices, further damaging UK's fragile economy and causing a ripple effect to neighboring European countries, which would eventually make way to the United States. RT's Ivor Bennett has more on the growing panic in the UK. What we're seeing uh, in the last 24 hours or so is panic buying, widespread panic buying of fuel up and down the country by motorists, queues outside petrol stations. And what's really been fueling this panic buying is, is the government's handling of this crisis. Their first piece of advice to motorists was to tell people uh, not to panic, which immediately, of course, uh, set the alarm bells ringing. Uh, one cabinet minister even said it'd be a good idea to top up uh, your car. Now also fill up a spare jerry can in case of emergencies. David Cameron, the Prime Minister, has even put the army on standby too to drive the, the tankers should industrial action go ahead. So these drastic measures are really uh, fueling the panic. Well, all of this comes uh, as oil prices are at record high, not only in Britain, but also in France and America. And what that means is unhappy voters. And with elections just around the corner in France and America, they need to do something quick uh, to, to pacify the voters. And so what France is now doing, they're joining America and and Britain in discussing the option of the emergency release, uh, strategic release of emergency oil supplies uh, to, to try and drive down those prices. Uh, now, this is a move normally reserved only when uh, there is actually a physical disruption of the oil supply, which isn't actually the case here. The cause of the oil prices increasing is really a problem of their own making. One of the main reasons for oil prices escalating is the sanctions imposed on Iran, a key oil producing nation, uh, by America. Britain and France, which is hitting the oil exports hard. And this is why countries like Germany and Italy are, are refusing to back uh, a move to, to release uh, emergency supplies. Even the head of the IA, IEA, the International Energy Agency, which has to authorize any such move, has said uh, the, there hasn't been a disruption significant enough of oil supplies to warrant such a move. So they may have trouble pushing this through. But America, uh, Britain and France have got themselves in this situation and clearly they're very desperate now to, to limit the damage and repair the damage that they've caused themselves before it's too late for their administrations. And that was RT correspondent Ivor Bennett.